Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the world of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be covering GPT for all, which is getting a huge upgrade where it has received a commercial license as well as it has gotten an easy way to install the actual large language model onto your local desktop with one click. And there's a new base model as well as a new UI in which it is easy for anyone to install. So with that thought, guys, let's get right into the video. If you guys haven't subscribed, please do so. I'm always dropping a lot of content and a lot of knowledge that is very beneficial for you in every aspect in the artificial intelligence world. So please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. And if you want to support the channel in the description below, there's a link in which you can support the channel by donating a little bit. With that thought, let's get right into the video. So before we actually install it, I'm going to talk about what this new upgrade is. And basically GPT for all, for the people who don't know, is a software that is one of the original language models that you can install locally on your desktop. And it installs this new update, installs a chat client onto your desktop and uses GPT for all slash or not slash dash J model for natural language processing. And this model is based off the GPT dash J model, which has been commercially licensed by Nomic AI by the Nomic AI team. And basically they've been able to outsource this and with this commercial license. So now we're able to capable we're able to capably install and generate different responses on our local desktop. Now these responses to users inputs can now be natural and human like with like traditional rule based chat boxes such as OpenAI's ChatGPT. Now it uses machine learning techniques to analyze and understand the meaning of user input and generate appropriate responses. With all as well as GPT-4 softwares, users can now have a chat box with advanced natural language processing capabilities on their desktops. And this allows this more personalized and efficient communication as users can easily ask questions and get help, which we can see over here in this model example. Now the so software is actually very easy to install guys, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it with this website over here. And basically this allows for a one-click installer which makes the installation process so much easier rather than going on to your command prompt and doing certain code prompts to actually install it. And additionally, the software also includes a new interface, which is automatic, which has automatic update functionalities and it uses the web to process these downloads. And it also ensures that the users have an access to the latest versions of the software. Now, this is something that I'm gonna be showing you in this video. So first things first, what you wanna do is actually read some of the, some of the things on trying it yourself obviously the first thing is getting the file you can also install this locally using this uh instruction manual over here but the best way to actually do it using the one click manual is easy as this you go on this website that they provided it's something that you can click on over here in windows and basically you just click on the windows installer for mac you can also do the mac os one but personally you click keep and once this installs you easily open it up and it might take a couple seconds oh man it's gonna ask you for a windows protected prompt that is trying to protect you but it's completely safe so don't just run it anyways guys it's completely safe so don't worry about it and what it will do now is start the setup process and you can install it wherever you want i'm going to do it to my program files and just accept the terms and we shall be ready to install it. And it might ask you for certain safety causes as well as certain safety precautions that might restrict it from actually downloading. So to avoid that, you just let it run naturally and it should take around like five, 10 minutes. So once that is done, I'll be back with you guys. So once it is fully installed, you click next and you click finish. And now what you want to do is open up the actual application, which is very easy as it'll be installed onto your desktop and it's easy as that guys just one click of a button you install it and what's the greatest part about this is that it's basically going to be efficiently auto updating throughout any different updates that the model actually has and you can see over here you can tweak as well as generate responses as a really nice beautiful ui and i really really love this guys you can basically tell it anything that you want so for example write me a paragraph on why i should go to school in new york i'm just making up an example guys and it will do everything that gpt4 all would be able to do and obviously 
it's not gonna give you the answer right away it has to write this thing where it's gonna provide after you give it a proper detailed response and you can see over here obviously since it's on the local it depends on the cpu as to performing as well as basically making and generating certain things with the prompt so in my case my cpu is not as strong so it's not going to be able to provide a fast response but you can see over here that you're able to get a response very articulated and very detailed as you would with gpt4 using the actual other model and this is just a click of a button guys which is amazing and you can also i believe click on certain things where you can like refresh it obviously and write certain things i'm gonna stop this because i believe it's making it lag a little bit but certain buttons are not working at the moment i don't know why but you can check for updates i believe over here you can reset it over here and you can i believe save different contents with the actual model and yeah basically that's gpt for all dash j basically and it provides a powerful and convenient tool for you guys so i hope you found this video very helpful guys if you guys haven't subscribed please do so and that's basically the new update on the new gpt for all version to update so i hope you found this video helpful guys and i'll see you guys next time peace out guys